Starting up a fresh new week with some fresh eats in downtown Hamilton at a spot with some delicious grub and a really neat concept. This is the Gastro Market. She is Justine. Hi we there. We have Anthony back there. What's up, Anthony? Hi. Uh, husband wife duo. Open up the spots, I guess, over a year now, right? It's been over a year now. Yeah. It's been a wild ride, considering I, we're on uh, what wave of the pandemic now? I don't now? know. I can't Fourth, keep up. Fourth, fifth, yeah, I know. It's it's definitely been a roller coaster ride, I have to say. But um, honestly, I would have to say it's got its peaks and troughs. We've had uh, yeah. some really awesome times, and especially through November, December, with the holiday season cranking up, and then things kind of coming to a grinding halt as of right now. Yeah. So. But it's it's, a, it's a really great spot. Okay, so take us through kind of the concept. What is what is Gastro Market? Sure. Actually? So Gastro Market is a gourmet, a mini gourmet uh, grocery store. Basically, what we focus on is uh, gourmet grab and go meals. All of them are prepared uh, by professional chef. Um, we also have our hot table of pizzas and sandwiches. So basically, we have a regular menu of five pizzas, five sandwiches. And then we always run a number of features on a weekly basis. Sometimes we even change it up uh, on a daily basis. So this is kind of the grab and go. So this is yes. always changing. This is always changing. So um, basically, this is what keeps our minds fresh during the pandemic. We're never doing the same thing. Um, so basically, we only ever make 12 orders of 12 different types of meals per day. And if we sell out, we sell out. The next day, um, we either repeat the recipe freshly or we just change it up and do whatever and the chef's thinking on the fly. people coming in and grabbing it, right? Exactly, exactly. It's because can you do the online thing? Can you order on your website? Or that is the next step. Honestly, okay. since we've just been doing this for a year, we're really just getting into our second year of business. And we're like, we've, we've got to do the online thing. There's many people who, you know, either don't want to venture out, especially since it's cold now, yeah. um, don't want to make the walk because of COVID, obviously. Um, so we definitely want to make our food as accessible as possible. Can we go see the space up? But uh, okay, because this is this is a really neat thing, and we can't be doing that right now. Yep. But this is kind of like a private dining experience that you want to be taking people through. Exactly. So this is probably the coolest part of our space too. Is that wow. um, we our backgrounds, our roots are actually in fine dining. So we never want to lose track of that. Um, so what we've designed this space to be is to be a private eatery, kind of like a little speakeasy space, if you will. So we only ever really take 10 guests max. That's the intention. And um, here we pretty much crank out things like eight course, nine course, really? 10 course tasting menus. Um, we've done a couple of cool ones. We have a, a regular client who came to celebrate his 60th birthday here back mm. in uh, when did we open up? Oh, good Lord. I guess like at the end of October. October. And uh, yeah, so we're doing really cool things like tuna tartare and... Uh, and, then uh, you, and, then you can, and then you can spy on the chef. And the oh yes, absolutely. Hey chef. How are you? Good, this, is, this is the best part about this space too is our little viewing gallery down here. So uh, you can watch the chef prep your food. You can make fun of him as he cooks. That's my favorite thing to do ah, actually. Right. Oh, the husband and <laughs> wife duo. Well. Yes, yep. we're going to get to see that. We're going to take a break. We're going to spend the morning here. But then we're going to want to eat, meet Anthony and uh, see what he's cooking up for us too. Because your background also is into teaching others That's how correct. to cook. Be comfortable in the kitchen. Be comfortable with those knife skills. Exactly. We're going to be working that too when we come back to Gastro Market, downtown Hamilton. On morning live. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Gastro Market in downtown Hamilton. So we met Justine, the real boss of the business. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's what you have to say because it's a husband and wife team. We met Justine. He's around here, around the corner. Uh, this is Anthony. Hey, Anthony, how are you doing, buddy? How are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. Okay. So there's there's so many facets to the business, which I guess you have to have in this day and age. You're kind of showing off some of the hot food items that you have? That's correct. Okay, what's, what's the pizza that you So have? right now we're doing our traditional hot lips pizza, which is one of our top sellers. Uh, we can't take it off the menu whatsoever. So here we have our homemade tomato sauce that's been cooked for three hours. Uh, we got our homemade jalapenos that have been pickled, which we also sell in the store. And then our uh, uh, saprasada nice. salami, spicy. Are you doing the magic of TV thing? So you're throwing that in there. We got the other one all ready to go. Take that out of there. So this is something where you can just come into Gastro and pick this up any day of the week. That's correct. Right? Yep. Okay. So let's bring that. Is that all done for That's us? That's all done. Perfect. So let's bring that over. Okay. So now what we're doing, I'm just going to be doing the finishing touches. Okay. Oh, 
How long have you been chefing for, Anthony? Uh, since I was 16 years old. No so way. I, I apprenticed for Hilton Hotel uh, downtown in the airport. Uh, I was very fortunate. I learned from a lot of multicultural chefs. Right. Um, and, oh, I forgot the cutter. Don't worry, do your thing. Sorry. No, you're all good. Um, and just being able to, uh, to adjust to the whole culinary industry. You know? right. Every year you have to stay on top of the trends, the, the plating, the, the whole gastronomy of, of cooking. The so you being in it so long, it's going through a rough time right now. It is, it right? is. Right? Um, what, what is the future? What do you think? Like my, my whole thing is becoming a chef and, a, and a, I always thought that the restaurant would never shut down, never fail. Um, now we're looking at a new, new era in life of watching right. a food industry and businesses go completely under, right? So um, I don't know. Uh, one thing is you can't run one business model anymore. Okay, so this is our traditional honey chili drizzle. Is this all being made in house? This is all being made in house. So I have, I have um, uh, a really good friend of mine that has a beehive. So I get the honey directly from him. Okay. Um, you want to, we have a chicken sandwich we're going to make too. Yep. We run out of time now. Start, we'll start working on that. Okay. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back because you said you need so many different facets of the business. Yep. One of the facets for you guys is cooking others or teaching others how to cook. Yes. Yes. And we can do that because so many of us are, so many of us are at home right now. So we'll uh, maybe learn some simple knife skills and we'll uh, show off this tasty uh, chicken, fried chicken sandwich no. uh, when we come back to Gastro Market in downtown Hamilton on Morning Live. That's a good way to start the week. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Gastro Market. And we saw Chef Anthony making that chicken sandwich in our last segment, but we didn't see it completed. Uh, that is something. We should mention too, Chef, that that the bread that you're making in house here too. It's all in right? house, yes. Yeah. Cuz that's that's crucial. That's really important. That's very you. that's very important to to our business model because then we can actually uh, explain to everybody what's in there. In right. case of allergy preferences or or dietary restrictions, we know exactly what's in there without looking at the bag or right. any of that stuff, right? So If you if you guys watched this this morning, this is the husband and wife duo, Justine, Anthony, uh, running a gastro market, which a, a, a lot of your roots come from teaching others. Yes. How, to, how to cook. And that's kind of what we're going through right now because a lot of us are at home cooking. And it starts with what, Chef? Uh, mise en place. Uh, mise en place is, uh, is very crucial in the industry, in the terminology field of, of the cooking world. What does it mean? And meaning it's put in place. So we're in the last 14 years that I've been cooking, 13 years that I've been cooking, everybody tends to struggle of having everything in front of them. Um, this, I did a nice little setup. We're going to do a quick veggie stir fry. Okay. But I have all the ingredients in place uh, that I don't have to run around after for to find anything, okay? okay. So we have our traditional carrots, onion, uh, celery, peppers, uh, mushrooms, green onions, and um, cilantro. Okay, okay, so we got, our, we got our salt and pepper ready to go. We got our olive oil. We got our knives. We, okay, so knives, that's a big one. Knives, knives is a big one, yeah. Okay. So what do we want for a knife? We want a good, sharp knife. So uh, about 50% of the people that we've been, the customers we've been teaching, they tend to use the lovely paring knife. Okay, which is the paring knife? Uh, the which paring is knife? the most common one for a lot of injuries, okay? Um, I don't use this one whatsoever. I still make fun of my mother-in-law for using it. The most common one that you want to use is your signature chef knives. This is the chef knife. Okay. okay. What you have different. These are both chef knives. These are both chef knives, yeah. Okay. And you want them sharp. You want them sharp. Okay. So. Are you sharpening them every time? Not every time. No. I'm not going to sharpen them every time. I'm going to sharpen them. It all depends on what vegetable I'm using. So if I'm using a tomato, that's actually going to dull the blade of the knife because of the acidity. Same thing with lemon. That's going to dull it. So then I'm just going to bring the edge back to it. This doesn't sharpen it. It just brings the edge back. And how do we do it? Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to just focus on a basic. So setting it down. Set okay. it down. And then from end. Top to. Top. Oh, look at you. Natural okay. over there. So just simple little strokes. That's just, just, that's just bringing the edge back. That's just bringing the edge back. 
Okay, and then after so many years of doing this, you just go. Yeah. You fancy now. I'm fancy now. <laughs> you fancy now. <laughs> okay, so when we're cutting. Okay, when we're cutting with a lot of, because I've been taught for so many years, um, I always do the vegetables that release the least amount of liquid on the cutting board, I chop first. Meaning, if somebody's allergic to garlic and onions, if I cut them first, what's gonna happen? It's all there. It's all there, it's right? So, so the way my brain works and the way I was trained, the old brigade system, meaning any type of vegetables that release the least amount of liquid get chopped first. So mushrooms, yeah. But your traditional one would be your cilantro. Now, even the, cilantro. the bowl system, meaning I'm gonna chop my ingredients and I'm gonna put it into the bowl. Cleaning, right. having my cutting board nice and clean at all times. So taking it off the board. So taking it off the board. So, so what I can we're be using do, the whole cilantro, yes. right? The whole yep. thing? You're gonna use the whole thing. And what's the proper technique? So the so proper technique, you're gonna off. do your thumb. Other way. First finger. Yeah. Okay, and then you're gonna do that nice, lovely forefinger and rocking motion, back rocking. of the knife. Listen, you're looking for a new job? Right. Look Maybe. at you go over there. Maybe. Okay, let's do this. So we're cutting the cilantro. Okay, every piece of the cilantro. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take another break because we run out of time for this segment, but we'll keep working on our, on our stir fry here at the gastro market. I know you guys can't be teaching classes right now, but that's something when we get back to it, to you can be doing, but, but you are open, right? Well, you we're do, open. You, you can do grab and grow, grab and goes. You can do some of this hot food that we're doing. So many different items that you can uh, experience here at Gastro Market, downtown Hamilton, on Morning Live. All right, good Monday morning, everybody. So our mise en place is done. Now the cooking can begin back here at Gastro Market with Anthony and Justine. And this is something that they're doing in non-pandemic times, actually having people in here learning how to cook. What are we, what are we making, Chef? So we're making a quick vegetable stir fry. Um, just your signature household items everybody has, carrots, onion, celery. We're doing some mushrooms, uh, peppers, green onions, and cilantro. And I have a little bit of soy and ginger um, pork marinade that we're gonna throw in here. How do you know what to put in first? So you wanna put your root vegetables in uh, at the same time, because carrots and celery will cook at the same, um, same time. Okay. Uh, you wanna throw in um, your onions in after. Uh, the reason the bowl system works because now my mise en place is in play and look at you go over there. Right. Okay, now I want to throw in my mushrooms. Mushrooms are good? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm just joking, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. Do you have to deal with him all the time? Do you deal with this every day? How do you, wor how, how do you work with him? Well, I fall for it. Okay, so mushrooms are in there. Mushrooms aren't gonna take too long, Mushrooms right? aren't gonna take too long. Now, you we're still constantly cooking on high heat. Uh, a traditional stir fry is used with a wok. Uh, unfortunately, I have one in the back, but I love using my induction cooktops because they cook evenly and right. a lot quicker. Okay, so that's coming along. Yeah. Nice, so then we just have our peppers. Yeah, we put our peppers in. You, you put them in? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> he still kind of gets you with that, right? Yeah, you. What is your favorite part of the industry, Anthony? Is it, is it teaching others? It's teaching others. Um, out of the so many years that I've been doing this for 23 years, uh, from my apprenticeship to Hilton to my best accomplishment is watching the, the young kids that we taught grow. Will we see young kids now with what we're going through right now, people getting into this industry? Are you worried about In, that? Not at all. No? In a heartbeat. Um, we still have a huge following with the teenagers that add us on Instagram because of the following that we have. Uh, they still want to come in and, and like be in a kitchen, yeah. uh, utilize, like know how to use a knife and... What is it about being in a kitchen, on a busy kitchen? There's just so it, much... It's, it's the a, rush. It's a bit of a dance when it's, you're back here? It's a dance. It's a dance and it's, and, and it's a rush. Whatever you were thinking about at 4.30, it's all gone at 5 o'clock because it's just go you time. You try to work a script, but yeah. that script is never there. It's go time. Okay, okay so now what we're going to do, we're going to add the lovely sauce. sauce and lovely. we're going to turn it down to a low. Okay. We just want to coat the vegetables. It's not a soup and salad combo. Right. Now, we might be running out of time here because we're trying to do this in a little three-minute segment, but everybody kind of gets the idea. Are you plating already? I'm plating already. 
Because you, you still want a bit of a crunch to you that? You still want a bit of a crunch to it, uh, just because you don't want to overcook your vegetables, because then it's just going to be a little soggy. Okay. Now, usually you can put chicken on here. You can do uh, your lovely rice, um, basmati rice. We're going to put the cilantro green onions. Go. Good job. Green onions. Other way, other way. No, I'm just. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, Perfect. Listen, guys, very nice to meet you. Okay, best of luck. Thank you. Because Thank you. Because Gastro Market downtown, downtown Hamilton, once things get back up and running, they're doing some private dining, they're doing cooking classes, but right now, they got some hot food, they got some grab and goes takeaways, and they got smiling faces under those masks. Okay, <laughs> best of luck. Cheers. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You